Im Simons is a leading mathematician and investor who this year appeared on the Forbes list of US billionaires, ranking 48th, and with a net worth of $29 billion. Investors and traders in the stock market are often encouraged to compare and evaluate their performance with leaders in the industry. It'll give you an idea of where you stand and how much return you should realistically aim for. While we examine industry benchmarks for trading, one name pops up, Jim Simons. He is arguably one of the most successful traders in the world. Simons is the founder of Renaissance Technologies, a popular quantitative trading hedge fund firm in the US. Duh. He used his mathematical skills to make billions from the stock market. His success story can be a motivation for all aspiring traders out there. In today's article, learn more about Jim Simons and his journey in the stock market. His success has been key in Wall Street's transition to systematic models and an algorithmic approach, with almost all transactions being processed in this way. Simon's investment strategy is based on identifying and finding patterns in the market, i.e. movements that repeat over time, so that they become predictable. Once they are identified, their level of reliability is tested through algorithms and so-called backtesting. To build such a model, Simons and James Axe, another brilliant mathematician, compiled data from the historical records of the World Bank and the Federal Reserve since the 1700s, thus succeeding in unveiling the underlying logic of the operations. However, keep in mind that the models are dynamic, so it must be adjusted as the market changes. A bit of history. The entrepreneur, born on April 25, 1938 in Brookline, earned a BS degree in mathematics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in 1958 and a PhD in the same field from the University of California, Berkeley in 1961. Simons worked with the National Security Agency during the Vietnam War as a code breaker and research staff member at the Institute for Defense Analyzes until 1968. Later, he was a professor at MIT and Harvard University, then became chairman of the mathematics department at Stony Brook University. In 1978 Simons founded a hedge fund called Monometrics, which allowed him to realize that pattern recognition could be applied to trading in the financial markets and he incorporated quantitative analysis into his investment strategy. For this reason he is known as the Quant King. From 1998 to 2018, the Medallion Fund generated an average annual return of 66% before fees, outperforming legendary investors like Warren Buffet. Since it's such a profitable fund, the firm charges hefty fees from clients. The average annualized returns over 20 years after all charges stood at 39 to 40 percent. As of 2022, Renaissance Technologies manages $55 billion, and its medallion fund is worth $10 billion. By 1982, he founded Renaissance Technologies, a prestigious quantitative trading hedge fund firm that manages about $55 billion. Renaissance is famous for its medallion fund, a $10 billion black box strategy that is only open to owners and employees of the company. Despite retiring in 2010, Simon still plays an important role in the company and benefits from its funds. Today and after his retirement, the tycoon has donated $2.7 billion to philanthropic causes. His foundation supports, among other things, autism research. Jim Simons and his team at Renaissance Technologies developed algorithms that use statistical arbitrage to identify and exploit pricing discrepancies in the financial markets. These algorithms analyze large amounts of data and use complex mathematical models to identify patterns and trends that can be used to make trades on behalf of the company's investors. The specific formulas and algorithms used by Simons and his team are proprietary and are not publicly disclosed. However, it is known that they utilize a wide range of mathematical and statistical techniques, including machine learning and data mining, to analyze and trade securities.